hello students now we have discussing the unit number 5 in stqs subjects it is related to bcs students the remaining point of unit number 5 measuring the external product attributes in before that we have discussing the internal product attributes how it is affected on the software testing and software development life cycle but now in this video i will explain you how the external attributes are affected on the quality of the software product so first we will see what is modeling versus quality quality is nothing but composite of many characteristics means the concept of quality is captured in model that denotes composite characteristics and their relationship means quality is nothing but the basic meaning of quality is nothing but excellence we can say the synonyms of quality excellence means continuous good things happens in a things or we can achieve excellence in a good things so how these measures quality related to the software products so the basic key attributes are required for measuring the quality products those are nothing but high level external attributes it is called as a reliability usability and maintainability and it will include for the internal attributes that is nothing but testability and efficiency so quality factors are decomposed into low level attributes called quality criteria for example reliability is a composed of consistency accuracy and fault tolerance so basically monitoring the quality so we assume the various factors needed to monitor the quality to measure each factor we accept models associated criteria and matrices relationship among factors criteria and matrices we need to use collected data to determine the quality of software for example to measuring the quality or monitoring the quality basically software sdlc cycle means software development life cycle is refer to quality models that is one is malloc quality model and another is bohem's quality model and you can also define your own quality model because software engineer delivers the product increments based on the functionalities provided to assign the priority to the functions as per the user need to identify the key attributes of software the key attributes are defined in measurable forms so the user determines whether the measurable objectives are being being met or not means whatever the goal defined at the time of starting the development of the software so whatever we specify the measurable objectives are being met or not for example volcker approach and iso standards quality model is a example of own quality models defined so first example of sdlc is a malloc quality model malloc quality model is based on three steps that is called as product operation product revision and product transition so this product operation product revision and product transition is defined into several quality factors which is required for measuring the matrices of qualities of the software product so which quality factors are basically measured under this malloc quality factors are nothing but correctness correctness is nothing but software product it will check how the software product behaves according to the specification whatever we specify in srs and sd document second is reliability it will nothing but the software is it is check the software is failure free and it is a specific period of time it is a good condition work in a specific environment then efficiency efficiency is nothing but the ability of software product is properly develop its functions and services and properly deliver to the functions and services with resources required to work in a users uh, organization then integrity to it prevents less or damage to critical data usability these attributes where software product can be used and adapted to the user needs then maintainability factors are basically used to maintain the product during its operational phase testability it is test whatever the output produced by the product which is observed with the expected outcome as per the user's point of view flexibility it is basically check economical and technical flexibility that under the development which is based on the budget schedule and technical environment portability under the product transition is check it is being portable the software product from one hardware and software requirement to the another reusability it is reuse the software product is ability in whole or sometime in a part and interoperability means it is allows the more more component or system can change their ex exchange their information so based on these quality factors the malloc quality factors can measure the quality of 
software product and second another models which is used in software development life cycle is nothing but bohem's quality model the bohem's quality model is only take a few factors for measuring the for measuring the uh, attributes of the external attributes of the software product for measuring the quality it is general utility is based on the two parts as a utility and maintainability it is utility is only consider the portability reliability efficiency and human engineering part and maintainability it is only consider the testability understandability and modifiability so based on the portability reliability efficiency and human engineering it will check the factors like the software product is device independent it should be complete it should be accurate it should be consistent the device should be efficient efficient means it should be able to deliver with additional resources then it should be accessibility which is perform on various platforms then testability it should be communicative says structureness self descriptive means additional help as a documents are available in that product concise legality and argumentability so according to these factors bohems can calculate the quality of software product then another part decomposition of maintainability so decomposition maintainability is conducted based on the criteria correctability testability and extendability correctability basically check the matrices and the fault counts it will be calculate the time versus fixed time fault rate testability it should be test whatever the output is given by system and what is should be expected so degree of testing will be calculated under this testability criteria which is statement coverage branch coverage and test plan completeness means how many number of test cases are generated in a test suit and according to that how many test plans are successfully completed so according to that how many statement coverage and branch coverage and extendability means which efforts we need to take the expenditures and change counts means according to the schedule it will be change the effort change the size and change the rate so you can also define your own model for identify the quality of software products so it is called as design by measurable objective software engineer delivers the product incre incrementally to user based on the importance of the different kinds of functionality so to assign the priority to function and the user defines key software attributes in the specification so according to priority whatever you assign the functions in the software development the software engineer can also define their own model for measuring the quality factors for the software product so quality objectives is based on the availability and user friendliness so iso is one of the international standard organization defines uh, their rules or guidelines to measure the quality of the model that is nothing but software product evaluation so they are refer the quality is a feature and characteristics of software that bears on its ability to satisfy stated or implies the needs so it is quality decomposed into six factors that is nothing but functionality reliability efficiency usability maintainability and portability so software engineer can also decompose these six factors or key attributes for measuring the quality of their own model so functionality is nothing but amount of functions supplied by the product to the user reliability is nothing but capability of the software to maintain its level of performance which is good working condition in a specific environment then efficiency efficiency is nothing but it is able to deliver the various resources with their proper functioning and services then usability extent to which software is convenient and practical to use usability is nothing but it can be used as per the adapted needs of the customer maintainability is easy to understand and enhance and correct maintainability is nothing but maintenance of product during its operation phase and portability means it will be easily transferred from one platform to the another platform so measuring aspects of the quality so it is defect based quality measures the standard measure software quality is defect density there are two types of the defects non defects and latent defects non defects means those are covering through the testing inceptions inspections and other techniques and latent defects means present in system but it is not in discovered so total different depend of density is based on the calculation of 
नंबर ऑफ नॉन डिफेक्ट डिवाइडेड बाय प्रोडक्ट साइज प्रोडक्ट साइज इज यूजली इन टर्म्स ऑफ एलओ सी लाइन ऑफ कोड एफ पी फंक्शनल पॉइंट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट पॉइंट सो डिफेक्ट डेंसिटी सेंट्रली एक्सेप्टेबल मेजर्स टू अप्लाई टू योर प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट प्रोवाइड यूजफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ऑल्सो कॉल डेंसिटी रेट द नंबर ऑफ डिफेक्ट रेकॉर्डेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द डिफेक्ट डेंसिटी अंडर द मेजरिंग एस्पेक्ट ऑफ क्वालिटी बिकॉज वी नीड टू फिक्स द डिफेक्ट बिफोर गोइंग टू डिलीवर द सॉफ्टवेयर to the customer end so it will be calculated based on the formula that is nothing but number of non defects divided by product size so product size is nothing but line of code and functional points so defect count may be includes post release failures residual faults all known faults set of fault discovered after some arbitrary fixed point in software development life cycle so other quality measure based on defects count is nothing but japanese companies define the quality in terms of system spoilage it is nothing but time to fix post releases defects after total system development time means some defects are not covered during the part of testing so those defects are fixed after deliver the product to the customer so it will be calculated system spoilage based on the the defects those are fixed after releasing the software in a market divided by how many total time span is required to develop that software system so these defects counts are used as various organization in various companies in other national and international levels so so this is one of the japanese companies refer to system spoilage formulas to count the defects so other quality measures based on the defect count is nothing but defect density is not only to useful defect quality based on the system spoilage is based on time to fix post releases defects divided by total system development time so according to that this is one of the sample ratio will be calculated based on the system spoilage formulas so in 1976 the ratio is more than 1 then it will be degrade then again 1977 it will be going high in between 70 77 again it come down in 78 again ratio is come down and it will be come down so ratio will be gets polished decreasing level so external view of usability decompose usability into more fundamental attributes so that we can measure them most glips approaches measures usability in terms of entry level learnability and handling ability entry level is nothing but measured in terms of experience or age of developer learnability measures in terms of speed of learning for example hours of training required handling ability measure in terms of speed of working when trained or error made when working at normal speed internal attributes those are affecting the maintainability of external attributes those are nothing but indicators of maintainability complexity whatever is calculated in internal attributes those are also affected in external attributes risk avoidance with respect to maintainability to determine which major we must gather them into combination with external maintainability measures so some internal attributes also affected on the maintainability of the external attributes so reliability so reliability is nothing but it we whatever we develop the software product it must be failure free software and the operation of that software it should be work in a specific environment of the customer end with a specific time in a good manner so set of attributes that bear on capability of software to maintain its level of performance it indicates basically two types first is hardware reliability and second is software reliability so software reliability is defined as the probability of failure free software operations for a specific period of time in a specific environment and hardware reliability fails because of physical wear which may cause the correction shock or overheating failures are probabilistic in nature failure do not occur immediately and are triggered by certain states and inputs we assign portability that components fails at particular point in time and build a model for component reliability that describes the portability of component failure thank you so here we have covered the unit number 5 that is internal and at external attributes measuring affected on a software quality of products thank you